Boxing King Media in association with Box Rock. I'm sure you were in Boxing King Media last time. I'm, 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 I'm freelance, but let's talk really? about. I am. Let's talk about today's show. Um, obviously, Prince Clark against his toughest opponent today. Um, soft, soft guy, Marius Wack, but Fraser looked decent there at times. Yeah, listen, he started really well, and I think that's just exactly what we wanted. Marius Wack to take in your seventh fight is. Uh, is impressive for me and um, we've seen him in there with with the very best even in the past few years so for Fraser to learn what it's like you can talk about his amateur experience all you want but 10 rounds is very different it was very hot in there you know he's, he's got a lot to take away there as well and um, yeah the right decision and uh, really really happy for him what's the next step for Fraser because obviously everyone's talking about this British title, title class that did happen now Eddie's saying listen we're looking at maybe possibly an Adelaide fight but for yourselves, are you, are you talked to Fabio Wardley? What's the latest in regards to that? Look, he's got a big offer on the table. Whether he takes it or not, I don't know, but it's the biggest offer out there that he'll get. Whether he would have liked to catch Fraser Clark earlier before he'd had the rounds, maybe. It's up to him. He's the British champion and, and fair play to him. But he's got a massive offer to fight Fraser Clark and hopefully that's one he'll take this year. Vidal Riley looking... Uh, Possibly his yeah. best uh, yeah, yeah. underboxer in his professional career. What do you make of his performance? Definitely his best performance. I'm so impressive. Um, he wanted to win that fight conclusively. He's fought against a guy there that's had eight weeks training, knows him really, really well in Annie's Taj and uh, explosive. And for me, I spoke to him after Chris Bill and Smith won his world title, and obviously they fought in the amateur. So when Vidal's looking at that at 23 years old as well, the youngest out of all of them, you know, when you look at Richard and Lawrence and Chris at where they're at in their in their career, but um, yeah, Vidal Riley's definitely the one to watch. Um, final two questions from myself. Just a lot of noise here, but um, final two questions. Yeah. We've just been told, or is, is it been announced that Gio Pataya has been announced to fight Richard Riak. I see that smile on your face. Just give it, give it the fans, just tell us a bit more. Look, it's something that we've been pushing for for a long time, and fair play to Richard, he wants the best. You know, for me, possibly the two best crews of in the world will get to see go head to head and what a fight. And uh, yeah, for Richard to even be at this stage now and be that confident against Jay Pataya is something, something really, really good. And yeah, I think that fight hopefully happens September, October, hopefully in the UK. Found one for myself. It looks like Dillian White, AJ might not be happening, or Dillian's supposedly saying that you know there's nothing come through eight weeks out. Is there anything boxer Ben Shalom can possibly offer him maybe in eight to twelve weeks? Well, maybe, but our stable's growing now with uh, Adam Azim, Ben Whitaker, Fraser Clark, Caroline Dubois, you know, Callum Simpson, the future headliners. That's what we want to focus on, Fraser Clark as well. And so we've got a lot to, a lot coming over the next few months. But what see as ease and uh, and all the crews away. It's, it's going to be a special few months. So. That's where we're focused on. Never say never, but that's uh, that's where we're, that's where we're focused. Final one, actually, uh, Liam Smith, Eubank. Any latest on that? Yeah, I met with Colour yesterday. I think we've got a date that we all agree on, so um, hopefully can announce that very very soon. Thank you very much, Ben Shalom. Thank you.